Okay, so this is the second in a series of videos I'm making about numbers. This is the number two. Okay, so this is the number one, like divided by two. There's two points on opposite sides. And that's how it starts. So the number two is basically the circle divided by two. And also it's like a single point multiplied by two. The number one is a circle and it's also a point. So the number two is two circles or two points. And it's also half of a circle or half of a point. The way I choose to draw it, is like this. Also though, it can be rendered as a line without the circle, so. Or actually, it can be two points first. Like one and two, and then you know the relationship between the two. So here's a picture of the number two. There's two points connected by a line and then within the context of a circle, um, like the line goes straight across the middle from, well, I draw it from left to right. It could be from up to down or whatever. The point is that the line divides the circle in half and also where once was one single point, there are now two points which are like basically the number two is identifying itself by its relationship. Like it's a relationship between two points. That's the main thing. Where there once was a point in the middle of the circle, now there's a line through the middle of the circle. And the points on opposite sides, like, are recognizing each other as equals. They're saying, like, I'm one, and you're one, and our relationship is, like, 
were opposites and they're peers basically. They're saying if I am one and you are one then we're the same and we're also two. We are opposites in the sense and we're also like two distinct people or varieties or versions of the number one. So the number two is about relationships. In the number one, I wasn't like super into the numerological, numerological, numerology, numerological, whatever. I wasn't super into the numerology version of it. I was basically into like the existential version, like one is all and all is one. And the number two is the same, like it gets that. Like it gets that all is one and one is all only something new is happening because there's two. There's two ones. And it's kind of like there's two alls. There's two universes. And if there's going to be any balance at all, there's there has to be some recognition and respect about like I'm one and you are one. I guess like it's like the word you, the concept of you gets invented like I am something and you are something and we are equal. We're the same and I have to respect you because you're the exact same thing I am. So the number two happens. And it's like, I think from what I remember about numerology, the number two is about relationships, like partnerships, like serious relationships, a serious relationship. Like it might be the only serious relationship. So it's like, it's also opposition though. So it, it's like, it depends. It's like a 50-50 thing. Like it could be like, you are my equal, you are my peer, even you are my soulmate. Or it could be like, you are my opposition, you are my opposite, you are my like opponent, you are my like, you are the embodiment of the complete opposite of me like this is a confrontation this is a you know like that personally I like to think all is one and one is all so therefore anyone who is opposite of me would be also me however I've seen in my life people who feel that the opposite of themselves is like something like, you know, fucked up, something bullshit, something they need to be at war with, or something they need to defeat, or something they need to overcome, or at the very least, something they need to accept. Even though it doesn't necessarily help them. I guess what I have to say about the number two is it's like, it's fun, you know? You get to have someone who's exactly the same as you, in a sense, who is, they're like the same as you, they are you, and they're also their own person. So, I mean, I'll show it one more time. It's. It's an opposition, and it's also like it divides the number one in half, and it multiplies the number one by two, so it's like two ones, it's two people, it's two entities, and it's also like one in the sense of unity is now halved, it's now divided by two. 
So it's like, I guess this is a choice. The way it's kind of like 50-50, it's half and half. It's also like in the mind of the person who has to deal with this, it's like, is this a new me? Is this a brand new, exactly the, exactly the same me? A brand new me showing up that's like exactly like me? Or is it like me getting like halved, me getting divided by two, me getting split into two. Either way, what I would say is there is definitely some symmetry involved in the number two. Symmetry is happening. And it's about relationships. It's about like me and them. I and you, us and them, we and they, like that kind of thing. And it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's pretty simple, even though it's pretty like, it's confrontational too at the same time. The number two though, it's all about relationships. It's like a relationship, the relationship, like, you know, the self and the other.